Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Australian crosses and starting with the Australian USD here. And uh, we've been stopped out of our trade that was uh, entered uh, in this area up through here. We've been bringing our stop down and uh, doing quite well. And now we've been flicked out. And I'm happy with that because um, the wave four here, which I want to talk about uh, before we have a look at the intraday count uh, here, uh, well, five, 10, 15 minutes, whatever, um, is that uh, wave two was quite simple here. And uh, uh, th so that means that wave four is going to possibly a bit be complicated. Um, so could be a triangle and those sort of things. So first of all, uh, from from wave two top here uh, the th and to the wave three low here in orange, the 38.2 retracement level comes in at 75. So, and that's also the wave four of one lesser degree. So that's really our target area, okay? Now, uh, the wave four uh, may just pan out and be quite simple, but we also really need to uh, understand that uh, it could get, uh, you know, complicated in terms of a double zigzag or triangle or something of that nature. Uh, so, um, yes, well, look, a triangle pattern would be uh, an A wave, a B wave, a C wave, a D wave, and an E wave, and then down from that point there. And each of these structures here uh, would be three waves. So that's a real possibility. Uh, so we just really need to to work through that. Uh, so one of the first things that we could look at is that if the A wave here is in uh, in three waves, like a uh, an A wave here, a B wave here, and five waves up for the C wave here, well, it's either going to be a flat correction or it's going to be a triangle correction. There's 11 or 12 corrections. Uh, in the market and uh, knowing that this is three waves or five waves can start to slice that figure in half. So um, that's what we'll be uh, working through and we'll just be going uh, step by step. <coughs> so um, we have been flicked out of uh, this uh, short trade and we're looking at uh, reversing that and going long yesterday. <coughs> Excuse me. So just on the 15 minute chart. Okay, just on the uh, 15 minute chart here. Uh, first of all, we were looking at going long yesterday. Uh, this is where our stop was over here for our long term uh, short trade. But we were talking about uh, being long uh, on this high or this high here. Uh, uh, and look, you may have even been stopped out through through this. I'm not sh quite sure, but whatever happened, this particular setup here on in within group two, the 65 and 72, uh, would should have been your catalyst to get back in here. And our target to the upside, uh, it can be 75 uh, because that's the wave four target. But um, I think we need to track this up in, in, in this terms here in terms of one and two and three and four and five. So the 90, the 70, uh, four, 72 here would be a nice target to, to exit at. Uh, there's also the possibility that this move here can be wave one and wave two here and one, two, three, four, five for the third wave, fourth wave and a fifth wave possible we'll see what uh we'll see what comes at that stage but i think the group two the 74 uh 74 72 is a good uh target there <coughs> now the other thing here is that uh this is likely e e either way this is likely to be wave a here then we'll look for wave b here and then wave c up over through to here this is in simple terms so Wherever that top comes in, if we take it from this low here, let's just say that uh, let's just say that it is this particular structure and uh, a green ABC there, and we'll take it into the 80 there. Then we'd be looking at uh, 
the 50-60% retracement level. So yeah, basically back around here uh, for this. Now it's, um, you know, we don't normally uh, trade uh, fourth waves uh, as such. So, so um, yeah, so you just need to be quite careful about how you navigate uh, through uh, this particular correction. Uh, I wouldn't get too involved in, in wave B here, uh, but let's see how, I would like to see how the, the other markets pan out too in their, in their patterns, such as the, uh, the Euro US dollar, um, the Australian yen and so on. So um, yeah, basically we're sneaking a little long trade in here, um, but that's about the end of it. Our main next trade for this will be short again once the uh, the orange, the uh, minor wave four is actually completed. So we want to see quite a mature uh, correction. Uh, the other market that we were trading long in was uh, the, is what rather, is the AUD uh, yen and um, it's got the same pattern here. And in this case here, you can see that I've labeled it wave one and two here. <coughs> this is because there's a, a different pattern behind all of this over here. So in this particular case, our target up here is a little higher up here at 93, and we'd be looking at one and two and three and four, and then wave five here, uh, probably a bit lower here, but uh, anyway, above wave three, probably at 92.50, and then wave four. So I should just sort of bring these into perspective a little bit. So it'll be something like this here in terms of, uh, we'll see a move up through to here somewhere, uh, then an A and a B. This wave four can actually pull back to the wave four of one lesser degree, so I'd best do that. This, this length here will be roughly the length of this move here. So perhaps we should move that uh, exit down here for the time being into group two here. And we'll just uh, pop this here as well, uh, down here, just a little bit lower uh, here. But we'll get a better idea of that uh, as we come out of wave four here, but I'm just going to save that there. And um, the other two markets uh, that we're looking at, we're not showing a great deal of interest in these just yet. One's the, <coughs> One's the Euro Aussie, and uh, as you know, we had been, uh, this had turned, uh, you know, before the other markets, and uh, it's still not uh, complete just yet. Uh, this, you know, this may move up here, but all of this price action here, overlapping wave structures, is a corrective pattern. So it's likely that we'll see new lows uh, come into play here. But the main point here is that uh, th there's not the setup that we're actually looking for, for, for a trending trade at the moment, okay? And that's the same with the uh, pound uh, Aussie as well. Uh, we know that we were looking for wave th three here and we're looking for wave four back. And um, also wave four here too could get uh, more complicated uh, than uh, this simple uh, structure here. So from this structure here, we're looking at at uh, five waves down here so that's from that point here so we can remove that um, yeah so this whole structure this a b and c here you know it may turn into five waves here as well so normally with corrections uh, I find that the safest thing to do is to wait for the first leg to complete to see if it's in five waves or three waves so so far we've got one and two here and we'll have three here will we get four and five here will, will this occur we, because if we get if we get five waves to here then we'll get an a and a b and a c here and then another five down so probably not the case um so we'll just uh see now if this is just going to give me an A and a B and a C wave here, still looking for another low here, uh, probably just, just trying to retest the the one here, the 2.1. Um, you know, if this market develops a nice tested support on top of uh, 2.1, uh, and we can get ourselves a setup there, which is the first high above the level, something like that, 
uh, then we can trade long on that uh, on, on that signal uh, through here like that um, but we'd have to wait for that anyway so let's just see there's nothing there's nothing here yet we had things to do um, so we're not in a panic to do anything so let's just wait to see which way the uh, the cookie crumbles and we'll pick up the thread in due course okay cheers